Hey everybody, finally able to show you our solar box truck. We finally have it finished. So come on aboard. Now keep in mind, we have no electricity coming in. This is all solar. I'll take you up and show you the panels afterwards. Um, and of course, one of these batteries here are actually just for the winch, but we are going to go with a smaller battery and different solar panels for it. But right now, I have the panels that are up top coming through to this breaker here, then into this solar charge controller, where right now we're at 52 volts on the battery, which is a 48 volt battery. Um, let's see what we've got coming in. We have 393 volts, or 392 volts coming in from the sun right now. Now 395, 396. So as you can see, it's coming in solar, going to the inverter, going into this 48 volt lithium ion battery. And the load, it's only a 14, 16% load because it's really not a load because it's just maintaining running the Ego commercial charger in through this cool little power distribution box that we got from Toa that it's showing, you know, what amps it's actually pulling. So that's what I have the commercial charger plugged into. It's coming on here and charging batteries on the go as needed. Uh, we just take them out of a mower, stick them on here, rotate them in and out. Um, again, like I said, this is just for the winch and I have a solar, a uh, separate solar charge controller that runs just for it. I'm still setting up a few things for it and then I'm gonna run these smaller 12 volt 50 amp batteries where this is a 12 volt like 200 amp battery. So it's just kind of overkill. So this is what will actually be here instead of making a nice, neat setup. So the main thing is panels into the inverter into this big 48 volt battery charger into here. And then what we're gonna do now is expand to go all the way across. Now, you wanna come with me, I'll show you the panels. You can kind of see right here the older design not quite as pretty as what we have on the new truck so I'll show you so we have four panels that are all about between four and five hundred watts a piece and then I'm going to mount some smaller panels here that'll be for the winch lights etc but these guys are what make ma the magic happen so now you can get a better kind of idea of what's on the trailers along with the tree limb then the smaller trailer over there and the new mac daddy so anyway that's the setup um, it took us a bit longer than imagined because I mean, could have put it all together in just a couple days, but we had a few issues with the solar charge controllers that we got at first. Um, they just weren't um, up to par, really. They weren't. I was trying different brands. I should have stuck to the same brand, um, the Power Mister or Pal Mister, I guess. That's what I've used for the trailers. I've had no issues with them, and I should have stuck with the same. I tried some other companies, saved a couple bucks wasn't worth it so now we finally got the right one and again we were trying to figure out if we want to go 24 volt or 48 volt system I'm very happy that I went with the 48 volt system much better and I mean we never run out of juice and we're able to go all day long and we still stay I mean it'll be around you know 50 51 volts it lowest will come down to is maybe 47 9 or something but I don't have any of the problems I had with the trailers sometimes when you're having a full day and you're charging so many batteries and there's such high amperage that it would suck it down to, you know, 23, 22, 
then you know once you hit anywhere around 21 it goes into a fault and then you just have a loud beep and it doesn't charge anything but i've not had that problem with this 48 volt system so it's what i recommend if you're going to be running a larger crew where we run you know two zero turns sometimes a third one um two push mowers three or four blowers um four or five different trimmers edgers hedgers things like that and they stay charged all day long and again everything we use is all eco because honestly it's the best so anyway that's it thanks like subscribe all that good stuff